This isn't a seminar on how to have another child. I don't know if you know, but Mark Kohler's going to be covering that tomorrow. He will let you, he will let you know how, how that happens. I do it a little differently, but anyway. Um, having a system in place is really, really important. Being organized with your process is really, really important. The second thing, and I don't want to say it's more important, but it's just as important, and that's consistency. Doing the same thing over and over again. And that's what I want to talk about in my time here that I have left with sales. There's five things I want to get across to you. How many are we going to get across? Five. Nice. Five. And the five are this. Number one, trust and rapport. That goes without saying. Trust and rapport. These are the five things that I look for when I'm getting into a sales environment, if I'm trying to close a 100-unit apartment complex, or I'm trying to close somebody uh, in, in giving them a better opportunity for real estate investing by introducing them to the Renatus community. The second is size and hunger. We're going to talk about that. If you're not hungry, you're not going to make this happen. I was so hungry when I started this journey that I could not be stopped. The only way that you're going to be stopped is if you're not hungry. And when you're in sales, like all of you are in this audience, it's your job to not only be hungry yourself, but make the person that you're in front of or the group that you're in front of be hungry as well. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about problems and solving problems and providing a solution for that. We're also going to be talking a little bit about science and how to be a pharmacist in your sales process. And then finally, you guys are going to have a decision to make. So you guys ready to go? Yes? Yeah. Nice. So before we do, I want a little test here. So let's do a little test. You guys, you didn't expect a test, but that's okay. I want you to look at the three shapes on the screen for me. If you guys could put those on the screen. If you could look at the three shapes and pick out the shape that most aligns with who you are. Everybody know the test, yes? So pick out the shape that most aligns with who you are. Now by show of hands, how many people align with the first shape up there, the circle? By show of hands. Get them up high so people can see them. Okay, look around. These are the circles. What this means is that you are open-minded, teachable, and ready to take action. Give yourselves a round of applause. How many people align themselves with the second shape, the square, by show of hands? Get them up high. Yeah. Okay. Right on. What that means is you're analytical, and you want to know all the answers first before you jump in. Give yourselves a round of applause. How many people identify themselves with the third shape? Hands in the air, really high. You know what that means? That means that you're addicted to sex and booze. Yeah. Yeah, I knew we'd have some wild people here, but I didn't expect that many people. You know what? You don't know people until you're sitting next to them and you start to take tests with them. Holy cow, some of you have kids. Some of you have dreams. I don't know. So, Zach earlier was talking about the community. And I can't express this enough. <laughs>